Hi everyone! So the other day I was looking at pictures of the Great Barrier Reef in Australia and I came across this gorgeous picture of the coral reef and it really inspired me to do a makeup look and as you can tell from my eyes they were colors that were in the picture. And I'll put the picture in the sidebar but the picture of the coral reef had goldish yellows and corally oranges and pink, purple, turquoisey blues and I sort of compiled all those colors and put it into one look and it's very summery. I love it and I hope you guys like it too and I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial as well. So if you want to find out how to get this look just keep watching. So as you can see on my lid I have some pretty bright colors so I'm going to be using a brighter base and this is a base that I usually wouldn't use but just for this video I'm going to use this. This is by Editor's Picks. And this is called the Incredible Eye Primer. And this is a lot lighter than my skin tone, as you can see. So I'm going to put that on the lid. And this is a really strong um, primer, so I'm barely going to dip my finger in there. Maybe like that much is going to cover my eye. And I'm going to focus most of the primer on my lid, and then I'm going to blend it up towards my crease. and just a little bit on the lower lash line. So I'm going to take an eyeshadow brush and I'm going to go in with this gold color that I have on this eye and this is Goldmine by MAC and mine's like hitting pan. So I'm going to take this on my brush and I'll work it in the brush and then I'm going to tap it off. And then this color is going to go on the inner half of the eye. So just on the inner half. And then we're going to go to our coral color, like a corally orange color. I'm going to be using a color by NYX, and this is called Tropical. If you have Paradisco by MAC, that's really comparable as well. I prefer this over Paradisco just because the color on this shows up a lot more, whereas on Paradisco, it's just shiny with a hint of coral in the background. So I'm going to use the same eyeshadow brush and just work it in there like that. And then where the middle of your iris is, we're going to overlap that gold mine color and then we're just going to blend out that line and then we're going to bring this outwards. Let's stop about two thirds of the way because we're going to be putting a magenta color on the end. The magenta color I'm going to be using is by MAC and this is called Hepcat. And on my camera it looks like a purpley-ish color, but it's actually really magenta fuchsia-like. It's a really pretty color. So, same eyeshadow brush. Eh, a little bit more. About that much. And then you're going to put this on the outer third of the eye and blend the line between the Hepcat and the Tropical color. Okay, so we're done with this brush and I'm going to move on to a fluffy brush and this is a MAC 224. And I'm going to go in with this purple color. As you can see, I have two purple colors. I have a more sheer purple, and then like right on the crease, I have like a vibrant electric purple almost. We're going to start with this sheer purple, and this is also by MAC. This is called Parfait Amour. And then I'm just going to swirl my brush in there. And I'm going to flick off the excess. And then I'm going to focus this color on the crease and then work it upwards slightly. So I'm using really light pressure and then just keep building it upwards like so. So now we're going to add the more vibrant purple. You can still use your 224 if you want to, but I'm going to go into a more dense blending brush. This is a MAC 217. And I'm going to go to my 
Book of Shadows from Alice in Wonderland. And I'm going to take the very first color up there. It's called Underland. And I'm going to I'm going to slightly dip it in the tip. And I'm going to build on this color cuz this color is really strong. So I'm going to start off with like that much maybe. And then this is going to go right in the crease. But I'm not going to bring it upwards like I did with the Parfait more. And again, just use really light strokes because you don't want to pack on the color too much all at once. Otherwise, you're going to lose the intensity in the colors. So you want to make sure that there's a distinction between the sheerer purple and the more brighter purple. But if you want, you could even just use one or the other. You don't have to use both purples. Either way, they're going to look gorgeous. Okay, so I have that color placed on. I'm gonna go back to my 224, but I'm gonna wipe it off really well and get, I'm gonna wipe it off off my hand and get rid of that Parfait Amour color because I'm gonna use this to put on my highlight. And rather than using like a cream colored natural highlight almost, I'm gonna go back into my Book of Shadows and I'm gonna use, where is it? Right there, Curiouser. And it's a very light lavendery pink color with shimmer. And it goes on really sheer, so that's why I'm using it to keep in tune with all these nice Great Barrier Reef colors. So I have barely a little bit on the tip, just like that. And I'm going to put this on my brow, place it on first, and then just blend out the edges. So as you can see on my waterline and my lower lash line, I have like that bright, turquoisey blue color. So I'm going to use an Urban Decay pencil. This is called Flipside and this came with the Alice in Wonderland palette. So I'm going to put this in my waterline. And to brighten up the color at the bottom, I'm going to go back into my palette again and I'm going to take the second color which is called Alice really bright blue. It reminds me of summer. It's beautiful. And I'm just taking some on an angled brush. Then I'm going to run this right below the, the lower lash line. Now I'm going to wipe off my brush because I'm going to line my upper lash line with a black eyeshadow. And I'm just going to use the black from the palette. This is called Jabberwocky. But you can line your upper lash line with whatever you want to. You can use liquid liner, you can use gel liner, pencil. But I'm going to be using black eyeshadow today just because I have the palette in front of me. So it's the most accessible. I'm going to make a really thin line because I don't want it to be so bold to where the colors start to get kind of washed out or you know they don't have the most focus so I'm just going to be as close to my lash line as I can and then just sort of stamp it on just like that like really thin line And so this is the finished eye. I'm just gonna go ahead and put on some mascara and false lashes. So I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. And if you do have any questions, please let me know. And thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.